Hi everyone, I'm going to show you how to use GoPro Studio to edit any video. I've uh, been getting some requests about this. I firmly believe that GoPro Studio is capable of a basic editor, meaning putting music, sound effects, and to images, and it's really easy, and you can do it for more than just GoPro footage. Uh, let me show you about this today. So click import, I already, I've already set up. I've gotten my snow day video, which is in the works. Uh, we'll start with aerials. Um, and to do it, you just import all the aerials, as you would. And you want like normal GoPro footage, it loads it. Alrighty, and it's all here. So double click it, and at this screen, if you're not used to it, you can set your endpoints and your out points in, uh, I like that, and let's say I like that, okay. And then I like to go to advanced settings, okay, the source is at 3840 by 2160. Uh, let's pull it down to 1080p just for showcase thing today. I usually, whenever I film, I film always in 4K, and I like to frame it up since everything will eventually be downscaled to 1080p, but for this purposes, let's do 1080p. You can, at this point, you can either speed it up and create motion blur with it. Uh, obviously, this is not a time lapse, so we don't need to do that. Always set your quality to high, and always, always remember, so you can do this for every single clip, remember settings for a clip. Okay. At that point, you then add a clip to conversion list, and repeat for the next clip. Uh, let's Just for some showcase purposes, I'll just do that right there. As you see, it lags because it's not rendering full. And we'll add that to conversion list. I'll do a couple clips. This is one of my favorite clips that came out. Boom. And just for showcase purposes, we'll get a lot of this. There we go. Cool. Add to conversion list. Um, obviously, be aware of save to movie, save to. This is where you're converging it, where it's going to be converted to. Again, so this is a .mov file. It's going to turn it into a ProRes 422 file, and it's going to convert to wherever this is to save to. Um, make sure that you know where it's being saved to before you convert. Um, I highly recommend doing this for any MP4 or .mov file formats like like it like it's shown. That way, you get retain the quality. And it, remember, this is a very compressed file. You want and you want it to be uncompressed to obtain the image quality, especially if you're going to be editing it. So we'll convert. And now you're at the mercy of your computer so I'll be back when the, the everything is converted and take you through the next steps alright so we have converted everything and it is now time to proceed to step two proceed to steps two now we get into the editing I always go with a blank slate it's easy but there are plenty of other basic slates that GoPro has but I always go with the blank and create and it's Obviously, it rendered in a .mov file. See, it's a low, lowercase .mov, meaning it's usually a ProRes file. And it's in 1080s. So we'll be able to smoothly see setback. And it, again, whatever you clipped it at is going to be the rendered file. And for showcase purposes, let's just do all three of them side by side. Just drag and drop. That easy. This, this is very easy format. And then once you they're all down there. You can come back and play with the settings. You have the video speed. You can set it to reverse, fade in, fade out, audio, white balance. So this is where you'll get you can play with the temperature a lot. Make it a really uh, this is kind of customizing your I guess color grading sort of say with your temperature, your image, contrast saturation, sharpness. 
um, framing, again, vertical zoom, you can rotate it the whole nine yards. Um, so yeah, you just play around with all these. Uh, it's all, everything is up to you now. And there it comes with presets as well. And now to add music, it's super easy. You go to, here's my snow day and here's some more, here's some music. Here's some Frank Sinatra, just for some fun. And as you see, Frank Sinatra is being played on GoPro Studio. So I like that point, let's say I like that point, and I like that point. Okay, and after you've cut it, it's as simple as drag and dropping in the audio file. Bam. That easy. That easy. Come fly with me, let's float down to Peru. In Lava Land. Alrighty. And so let's add a title to this. Let's see here. What do we want our title to be? Truck in s truck in snow. God. All right. Change the font type here, and we can. Hey everyone, uh, sorry I got a phone call I had to take. Um, back to this though. So with GoPro Studio, you can create your own, again, title. So we can you know fade it in, fade it out. And we can go back to the timeline and drop in that title. And there's Truck and Snow, again, not not where I would place it, but this is just for show purposes. So, yeah, it's a very basic editor that you can, you know, do your drone videos in if you want a free editor. I highly recommend this as a free editing base to get started if you are just getting started with video production and getting started with creating drone videos, especially. I recommend using GoPro Studio over any other particular editing suites, mainly.